Thank you for clicking Learn English Love English. Today's story is The Japanese Tsunami, the title read part 2, the story of Japan. Tada, the grandson, the child, kindled a torch for Hamaguchi for his grandfather. Hamaguchi hurried towards the field where hundreds of rice stacks stood waiting to be carted away for selling. The old man applied the torch to the rice stacks rapidly as fast as his aged limbs could carry. Stacks burned into high flame with a very great cloud. He started crying and asked, Why, Grandpa, why? You work so hard for harvesting. Without giving answer, Hamaguchi was thinking about the 4,000 people are in peril. He burst into tears and ran back to the house and thought Grandfather had gone mad. Hamaguchi was kindling stacks after stacks as he wanted to attract the attention of the priest of the temple for booming the bell. Seeing the place, the priest of the temple on the hill set the big bell booming. Hearing the booming sound of the bell and seeing the fire too began to gather up on the hill like the swarm of ants. The gathered people came hurriedly to put off the fire but Hamaguchi stopped them by joining his hand and told, I want to gather the whole village in front of me. Let it burn, there is a great danger, he commanded. In a while, young peasant, active women and girls Mothers with their babies, old people gathered in front of him at the flaming fields and the crowd looked in sorrowful wonder. Tada started crying and said, My grandpa is mad. He set the fire by his own. All the stacks have gone. Maguchi confessed that the child said the truth. They told that they could not understand the reason, but they had full faith up in the grandfather. The old and the wisest man said to all, Look, my fellow men, in a high pitch voice, pointing to the open sea, say now, if I am mad or not, look at the sea, the strange act of the sea. Through the twilight, all looked the eastward and shocked to see the strange act of the sea. Raised that the darkness was returning to sea, towering like a cliff and coursing more swiftly than the kite flies. All understood that they were in peril and the urgency of firing own rice crop stacks after stacks by Hamaguchi Gohei. Know more about the story, watch the next video of Tidal Wave 3. This story really gives the reader a brilliant feel and true appeals to point the sense of curiosity. For more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you. Thank you for watching.